I am a slave to you, my fans. And one of my patrons made a suggestion. Why don't you play as Bryn and go the commie path? Uh... And I thought, you know what? I don't think I've ever decolonized this communist Britain. Let's do that just to see if it's actually worth it. The two C's, uh, communism and decolonization. In this edition of Is This Path That Nobody Does Any Good? And we'll find out today. Hey, and if you want to make suggestions for future countries and paths to play, why not join my Discord and become a Patreon support, YouTube member, Twitch subscriber, and join the feedback of chat and make suggestions. I'm going to show you the perfect opening as Britain. This video is brought to you by Manscaped.com, the ultimate game changer in the world of beard grooming. Do, do, do. So what do we got here? Oh my God, this carry case is lovely. The Beard Hedger Trimmer. Here we go. Oh my goodness. So fresh, brand new in packaging. 7,200 RPM motor, titanium coated T-blade. Slices through even the toughest of facial hair in a single stroke. Oh my goodness. Customizations here too. The zoom wheel offers 20 different hair cutting lengths using just one guard. So with this, you're actually adjusting the length. Oh my goodness, that's actually really good. As you'd expect, it is waterproof and completely cordless. But we're not done yet. The kit is not only the trimmer. It features beard shampoo. Give it a smell. A bit of a cologne smell to it. We have beard conditioner. Leave in as a beard softener. Also, beard balm. And it wouldn't be a beard kit, would it, if it wasn't for beard oil? And extra free gifts include the beard brush and a beard comb. Oh, I kind of like this different lens. And tucked away here, oh, we've even got a pair of scissors. Oh my goodness, these have got some like weight to them. If you are ready to level up your grooming game, head over to manscaped.com and use the promo code FEEDBACK to get a massive, a huge, tremendous 20% off the entire kit. Plus, free international shipping at the checkout. First of all, open your navel screen. Shift, left click, all the fleets, right click, press enter, click here, G to merge, and now they will magically merge. Same with the armies, left click on unassigned divisions, right click to assign, boom, London, and they're all gonna move there, and then we'll convert them all to colony bros. Few mills, few civvies, and we're going right, and 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 right. And right, and right, and right. And there we go, a change of course. As world tensions mount, it's 0% world tension. It is clear our current political leadership is incapable of protecting our nation's interests. This time has come for a dramatic departure from the politics of the last few decades. When they first introduced this feature, it actually seemed kind of cool. And now I think about it, this is incredibly ahistorical. Britain's kind of like, you know what? I don't like monarchies anymore. We've given up. Anyhow, air map mode. Shift, left click on all the air wings. Boom, and then move them here. All right, boom, we're done. Did I just move the carrier planes off the carriers? I did. You know what? I don't care. Production wise, get rid of all the boats. Don't really care for them. We're just going to make loads of uh, space marines. Anti air space marines. Nice. Two of those. One of those. There we go. Voila. No more George F. And there we go. The concessions to the trade unions. Our efforts to rearm are continuously marred by conflicts with the trade unions. We may well have a smooth transition if we elect to cooperate with them rather than to continue to struggle against them. And here we go. One of the reasons this path isn't very fun. If decolonization has not been achieved within two years of becoming communist, a civil war will start. <sighs> Paradox, if you're listening, the way you make this more fun is you have options of sacrifices of consumer goods or spending a ridiculous amount of political power to avert that from actually happening. The fact that you're forced into it if you don't do it makes me big sad. The most efficient anti-air space marine tank division is actually, well, it's not a tank division. It's kind of an anti-air. So basic anti-air, one turret, armor, slow piece, diesels, bit of speed, and make it anti-air. Too expensive. Uh, all right, we're gonna have to wait a little while. Here we go. Concessions to trade unions have begun. Well, here we go. Here's the nitty gritty. Appease the trade unions. Another one. Appoint a trade union minister. And the next one. Uh, pass construction safety regulations. And oh my God, those penalties. Guys, I hate communism now. Boom. Yes, it starts. Pump out the babies. 
And in the meantime, we're going to do what is never meant to be done. Britain is about to give up its greatest asset by revisiting colonial policy. Times are changing. It's clear that the independent movements will continue to spring up the... <sighs> okay, I'm a British person, okay? And this does hurt. Wait, this actually did happen. Oh, this really does hurt. Enact mandatory union days. Yay, bank holidays. Now we have a nice, petite, small focus street. Oh my goodness, it seems so small now. Guide the colonies. Taking the first steps towards full independence. We're basically going to tell them, like, this is how you make a government. This is how democracy works. Good luck, boys. See you later. GG. Next up, limit conscription. Reduces your conscription by one step. We're on volunteer only. Is this going to put us on disarmed nation? No, okay. It's just if you're one step higher than that. All right. Fast increase in paid leave legislation. A lot of these don't feel very communist. They just feel like any old country that exists today. Congratulations, you now have rights. Yay. Withdraw from contested territories. Another white reason this path is just absolute poop is why do I lose so much stability when I do this? Ah, oh, I mean, it hurts to begin with because I'm D map painting, but then having to deal with lower stability. Why? Listen, I'm all for history. Okay, but this is a computer game. Release the Middle East. You know, if we're going to talk about history for a second, can you imagine the consequences of Britain just simultaneously withdrawing from all these regions in the world? All these contested claims, this would cause conflicts within these regions over and over again. Hang on, Dave. Are you trying to say that Britain was the good guys? Is that what you're trying to say? Yes. yes. Pass the minimum wage legislation. Oh, here we are, boys. Red. Self-govern the Americas. Oh, they become dominions. Okay, they're still actually my puppets. Okay, let's check out the Middle East. <laughs> Self-government of the Americas. Oh, man, this is awful. Self-governance in Asia. Pass the safety memes. And then finally, hold the referendum. As a socialist support has thought, we have no choice but to accede to the trade unions. Demands for a referendum. The outcome is all a foregone conclusion. Boom! The communists demand a referendum, and now we are... Oh my god, that flag is new. I've not seen that flag before. The Union of Britain, and he loves Stalin. <sighs> We're not off to a good start. Africa! All the colors. Ooh, look at that. Perfect encirclement. Oh, and I've given Gibraltar back. George Orwell, a socialist not novelist. Hang on a minute. Isn't he fighting here in the Spanish Civil War? This world and truly is 1984. Australia has proclaimed independence. Goodbye, Aussies. Canada, goodbye. Bye-bye, India. And finally, the final focus is decolonization. It is the end of an era, but the end of our choosing. Rather than suffering the indignity of suffering in vain against the unsupple rise of independence movement, we have held our hands high, and with pride, we have guided those under our protection as far as we could. Now we must cut remaining tires and welcome them to independence blah 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 you, you get the idea and all remaining nations get the bonuses and we get the booby prize of just a few points of random things that we're never going to use nice uh meanwhile at home the face of the royal family <laughs> what you just thought it was about workers rights ah i think not when you've come so far you might as well just go all the way the fate of the royal family have them trialed and sentenced. Elizabeth the Prison. Surprising twist of fate, France has decided to defend Czechoslovakia. What do you know? Chamberlain was the problem. Appeasement doesn't work. What was I just saying, eh? Huh? Look at this. Britain holding the peace of the world. The minute they leave, look at this chaos. All right, I'm going to say the most boring path is the path of when you go communist, then you side with Stalin. And today we're going to do that path because it's opposite day. We have been granted permission to join the common turn. The question is, who is the one true enemy? of communism is it the liberals or is it the fascists like all leftists who am i willing to work with nobody uh technically it's everyone's our enemy but today it's going to be capitalism oh and that gives us an attack bonus versus the united states <laughs> well we know where we're going for burma is used as a springboard as a launching location is it now is it now britain may have seeded the west with democracy but the nation that well and truly brought it home by revolution was the united states if there well and truly is a home of capitalism it is this big blue boyo here democratic dream nah capitalist utopia nah the real dream to crush is the american dream americans like to talk about their dream 
that anyone can make it in America. If only they are willing to do so over the backs of their peers. We find this reprehensible. No man should be encouraged to prey on another for their own gain. We will liberate the people from their silly notions, crushing the dreams so thoroughly that no trace of it will remain. A war goal against the United States of America. Britain and the United States at war once again for the third time, I think. Someone will correct me in the comments. It is time to end the dream. Activate the plan. Declare war. Support the naval invasion. Off we go. Shots are fired. The Brits have landed. The British well and truly are coming. No, the British are already here. We never left. Washington's been secured. The White House is on fire once again. Let's reinforce and let's kick them out. 13 colonies have been liberated. Go, go, go. Oosh. Minor traffic jam, but just keep going. Push through it. Low supply penalty? Nah, just keep going. Battle plan mastery. Oh, you're probably wondering, how effective is this? Why are you doing so well? It's, it's pretty much this. Loads of armor. Lost the soft attack. Keep the supply down with logistics. To be honest with you, a division like this one is kind of the ultimate battle plan division because it has stats that do practically everything. So, I mean, the only thing that can really stop it is if someone was smart and made a really good tank division. Good job that AI never does that, right? The Mexican oil nationalization. It kind of sounds like Mexico wants to go to war. Our options are limited and force of arms must be considered. Britain. All right, they've got big gaps in the front line. Do you know what you do in this instance? You find all the supply depots and you just beeline to all of them. Kansas City, here. Mexican compensation. What's funny is I can actually agree to this. However, I've still got a CB on Mexico. <laughs> we forgive you, Mexico. Next minute, troops walking over the front line. Ah. Britain. Right now, I'm not really getting many factories, but there's one way of getting lots of factories is communism, and that's where you switch to liberated workers. And then there's suddenly 216 factories to 250. <laughs> It's stupid. I love it. We've run out of building slots, so I guess we build inside of land we've just occupied. America has no divisions at the start of the game. That's the reason why this is so unbelievably easy. Britain. Oh, fuck yeah. Not only do we dominate them in firepower, we also dominate them in overall divisions, and they've got a big front line to hold. So, as you can see, they're getting absolutely squished. So, just grab the victory points, and then it's done. Boom! What do I take? All of it. All right, back to uh, local police force to save uh, on the garrisons. Meanwhile, in Europe, uh, we have an Axis that's kind of doing okay. We have a European coalition that's just holding out. Uh, France has had a kind of civil war with the fascists, and then Belgium's joined the common turn. Yeah, pretty much anarchy. But over here, look at this. <laughs> That is beautiful. Mexico, you embargoed us. Does it even matter? Did we even have their fuel? I'm not even sure. I think the communist thing might have thrown that off, but it doesn't even matter because uh, now you're a territory of the Union of Britain. Isn't the irony of this is I've gotten rid of my colonies. I'm kind of making new ones now. Yeah, this game doesn't make sense. Battle plan for the win. Never mind Germans taking on the French. The French are taking on the French, which I'll admit is kind of creative. I like that. The enemy within. French democratic. French uh, fascist revolution. French gone communist. French in a European coalition faction. Uh, French now join their own faction called the Paris Accords. My head is spinning. France. For the record, I'm playing with historical on, but this for the most part could be a non-historical game. But for the most part, it could have gone either way. If I had not told you, you probably wouldn't have known. Biggest fleet in the world, convoy raid. Look I eat them, boys. And join the wars. Naval invade. Off we go. The boys are back in town. Britain fixing European problems. How many times have you had to do that, huh? Huh? How many times? Another day for Britain. Deploy the swarm. You know what? I've got some planes. We'll, we'll use those. Add them on. Attach them on. Now we become entrenched by the French. So declare on the other France. All the other French are cursed. Red Europe. You know, they always say history repeats itself. And the Soviets are falling to the Germans and Britain and the Allies. And kind of America are coming to save the day. So we've just kind of just done World War II, but in a different order. Oh, no. The non-historical peace conferences. Oh, no. What have I done? It didn't matter anyway, because we're still back at war anyway. Okay. I'm adamantly against peace conferences with the enemy, okay? There will be no negotiation with terrorists. The real winner of this game is going to be Czechoslovakia. 
back here that managed to hold on to this for the entirety of the game the blockade how many people would have died in this encirclement you know because i mean no food can get in here so they have to self-sustain themselves in the czechia the three-year czechian pocket like the siege of leningrad just about to be liberated well actually liberate aren't we at war that with them no but we should be though sorry not sorry final push the end of the tyrant of europe to conclude this path is kind of interesting because it gives you manpower and political power but it's tools that aren't really as useful or versatile as like resources or civilian factories so it leaves you kind of with a shortfall uh mid to late game i guess initially boosts you to beginning but to be fair the biggest boost i got from this campaign was declaring war on america and taking them out uh in, before 1940 because that's just given me unlimited civilian factories and unlimited resources so what i lost in colony is i made up for for taking out america put it that way the anglo-soviet invasion of iran what I, I don't think i've ever seen this event fire in a normal historical game why am i getting this now i'm communist britain what the hell uh sure oh and uh i spoke too soon it's already over another one down and another one down japanese czechoslovakia you will bow before us or you will cease to exist I do like how Europe has got a bit of a nice shade of pink to it, you know, pinky purple. Britain well and truly made its mark. You know, the ultimate irony of this is I decolonize Asia, I decolonize Africa, even the Caribbean too, and then I, <laughs> I colonize Europe. <laughs> Ah, the switcheroo. Oh, and I guess this as well. Nice. So there you go. Hey, do you want to suggest to me a future campaign that I should play? Why not become a Patreon supporter? Why not become a YouTube member by clicking on the join button below and hopping on my feedback or chat on my Discord and submit your suggestions? No, I'm not doing a Bhutan World Conquest for the last time. No. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe. I love you. See you soon, boys. Get ready to increase your grooming kill streak by joining over 9 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped. Don't forget to use the promo code FEEDBACK at manscaped.com for exclusive deal, happy grooming, and happy gaming. One video, no, two videos. This is the video for you right here. Click it.